No, no leave out. No leave out. No leave out. No leave out. And the unit looks like this. Great day, beautiful people. It is your girl, Lashana with the LE Style. I am back today with another wig review that is um, being sponsored once again by the brand Outre. I'm super, super, super excited to be doing this video um, because I am continuing in my converter cap um, half wig series, if you could say, um, with this brand and these wigs, which I have absolutely grown to love just phenomenally because they are phenomenal wigs and they're... Anyway, let me go ahead and just present to you the wig that I will be um, reviewing today. This one is called Tropical Tendril Tendrils. Tropical Tendrils. <laughs> And um, I have it in the color DR Chocolate Swirl. And that's another reason I'm excited because this is a color that I have been wanting to try before, um, but I had not. So this one, I decided to go ahead and go with it. It just is a beautiful blend, as you will see. Um, the Converter Cap line, as I begin to unpack this, um, is a line of half wigs that are, um, able to be converted and of course styled in many many different ways um i prefer not to have to really leave out anything it is a choice um because of course with all of the styles sometimes you will have to leave something out but um it's not required nor is it necessary so this is just some of the styles in which you would be able to actually style this particular unit in um i will be doing maybe three or four today nothing very you know super duper hard so these weights are very beginner friendly and they are easy on your budget they are synthetic um, which obviously means they will not last a lifetime like a human hair wig. But with most synthetic wigs, or I would say Outre's brand of synthetic wigs, because I am specifically talking about their uh, unit today. If you take care of them, meaning don't sleep in them, don't handle them as if they are just nothing. And what I mean by is not sleeping in um, I don't lay around in my wigs, you know, if I do decide that I'm going to be doing some super lounging, then, you know, and I'm home, I'm going to take my wig off. I mean, it's just what it is. But anyway, this is the unit. Look at this color blend, y'all. And again, this is DR Chocolate Swirl. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, I would say right here at the roots is the number two, which is good for me. Well, that's what it appears to be um, because that is the color that is most closest to my natural hair color. And then it kind of comes down probably to like number four. And then you have maybe some auburn um, highlights blended in there. This is a beautiful, bl beautiful blended um, wig here. Now, let me go ahead and give you the construction. You have the large comb here, but you also have two combs on the side here to secure the wig. You still have a comb in the back. And then of course you have a drawstring here, which comes on um, all of the converter cap wigs that I have had, which will allow you to convert this wig and wear it in a ponytail if you desire to do so. Or even sometimes I do have found that I will, you know, put it a little tighter because I'm not really big with sticking the combs in really, really hard against my scalp, of course, or either near my hairline. So anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and get ready to, to style the wig as I desire to style it. I really, really want you guys to just track with me, of course, through the end. Um and just get the final look of course and get the final results and uh by the end of course if you're not already subscribed i would ask that you would subscribe to my channel of course where you will continue to get content like this of course wig reviews of course some makeup um and i hope very soon to start getting into some vlogs so i'm super excited about that but anyway let's get going with this wig and uh you guys will see what we're working with here
Okay, guys, I am back with the final look, of course. Well, back to the look that I believe is my favorite of the styles that I did um, with this particular unit, um, which is pretty much just... <laughs> Y'all already know, if you've been coming to my channel for any amount of time, y'all already know I like big hair, of course. And I like that side part, side swoop action, which is what this is. A little bit more full on top, of course, and then we have a little fullness on the side, but I like it kind of pushed over. So this one is my favorite look for the style. The styles that I did did not require any leave out, which is what was my intention with this wig, really to show you, of course, there, you, you can go the distance with these. You can, and I have in the past left some hair out you know, to do certain styles. But this particular time I chose not to do any type of leave out. I believe I did with, um, what, three styles, maybe four styles, something like that. But it did not require any leave out. So no leave out. You don't need leave out with these Converted cap wigs or half wigs, so check it out. So the wig is really, really cute. I love the color. The color again is DR Chocolate Swirl. This is the unit, Tropical Tendrils. I will be honest with you, this is not my favorite unit. I, although I do like it, I love a curly wig. What I do like about curly wigs too is that they tend to swell up or get a little bit bigger. So when you're a girl who is into fro's or, um, you know, into big hair, then that's one of the things that I do uh, have, makes me gravitate towards um, curly wigs because with handling them over time, they will start to fro up a little bit and get a little bit bigger. But this one, oh, I like the curl. This wig is not a dense wig, which means is is not a lot of hair. It's kind of thin, um, not thin where you can see through, but if you know what I'm talking about, it's a little bit on the sparser side. It's not very dense, so it's not very thick. Um, and one thing about this unit, now I don't know if it's the unit that I got or if it's the wig itself, um, because I really haven't watched you know, anyone really do a review. I'm sure there probably are reviews of this unit, but it seems to be a little thinner towards the ends of the unit. It seems to be a little bit more fuller, um, you know, the towards the top and the middle and the, the end or the bottom part, like you can see right here is not really as, um, as full. Um, but it's cool. What I did was I started to, when I did the first um, style with the headband, I did not finger comb it out as much, but the second style, I started kind of uh, finger combing it out some so I could kind of, you know, get it to be a little bit fuller or to appear a little bit fuller. So I didn't brush it. I didn't want to brush it out with my um, wig brush because I wanted to maintain as much of the curl pattern as I could. But I, I mean, the unit is cute. It's very, very cute. The color is what's doing it for me. I think the most with this unit and with the majority of their um, converted, uh, converted caps, I believe the majority of them do have DR Chocolate Swirl as an option. And it is an absolutely beautiful blend. Fall is here. So this unit is fall all day long. That This is my favorite style. Um, the most I did was add a couple of bobby pins at a couple of places to kind of make it kind of lay or stay in the place where I put it. Um, I did a... I did a review not too long ago on another um, Outre um, converter cap, was called, which was called Sparkling Bell. A series, a playlist series that I created with all the converter cap units that I have done. Um, so I'll leave that link for you guys below or above, so you can see, you know, all of the different units that I have personally reviewed. This this line is still like my favorite converter caps have grown to be my absolute favorite go-to for quick and easy styling. They are beginner friendly, they are budget friendly, they don't require a lot of time, and they also give you the most 
most flexibility with as many ways as you can style these wigs. So this one is no ex exception, although it's not my favorite uh, of the converter cap, but it's still a great unit. No, no leave out, no leave out, no leave out, no leave out. And the unit looks like this. It's a beautiful unit. I love the length. So the bottom line, this is a great unit and I am, I am endorsing it. You know, like I said, even though it was a little thinner on the ends that I would have liked, this would not stop me from wearing the unit. It would not stop me from investing in the unit. I mean, generally these wigs, depending upon where you get them from, the, the, the price will range, but generally they are $20 or less. So it depends. It could be a little bit more depending upon uh, where you're gonna purchase it at. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think. You let me know what style was your favorite style. Um, would you wear the unit? Would you try it? Would you buy it? Of course, let me know your thoughts about it. And again, check out my converter cap um, Outre. It, it is a Outre converter cap uh, playlist that I'll, I'll link for you. I'll link all the colors for you, this wig and everything for you below. Um, so you can, you know, grab it if you desire to do so. I just want to say thank you again. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, uh, please do. Please hit the like button, subscribe, of course, turn on the notifications so you can get notifications as to when I will be uploading another video to the tube. You would definitely be the first to know. I would appreciate that. So I want to leave you by, of course, saying stay, um, continue to stay safe, continue to be mindful of, uh, you know, what you're doing, where you're doing it, who you're doing it with. Of course, this world is nothing like the world that I was born into. I'm sure it's not even the world that you were born into. This world is so crazy right now, but it is still a gift and a blessing to, um, you know, to be here, to be in the land of the living. So I'm not complaining about that, but definitely know who you are. I would ask that you stop comparing yourself to others. Comparison truly is the thief of joy. You cannot have joy. You cannot have uh, appreciation for the life that you have, or nor can you have peace if you continue to look to the left and the right and to, to continue to compare yourself. It robs you. It robs you of so much. And, you know, the Lord, he... He spoke something to me, I think it was around April of this year. He said that comparison is like a form of racism working backwards because it's, it's against yourself. And ultimately, it means that you are rejecting who it is that he created you to be. You are an original. There is no, there are no carbon copies of you, honey. Nobody even has your fingerprints. So learn to love and appreciate who he formed you to be, who he created you to be, who he intended you to be, and who he loved you to be. So self-love truly, truly is something that you have to learn how to create within yourself and appreciate who God has made you to be and stop comparing yourself to others um, because that is not anything that he would intend you to do. And it's definitely not going to help you in any way, shape or form. It will continue to rob you, um, of your freedom of just being free and flourishing, uh, in this world and finding your, uh, or uncovering your purpose and getting to the destination that you desire to get to ultimately, uh, that God desires to get you to. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. Thank you again for watching and tuning in. I love you guys. And, and until the next time, I will see you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.